Hey, I'm Nick Kroll. I am known amongst the people that I tell that I am a voiceover artist. I am the voice of about 30 characters on Big Mouth. I was uh, Professor Poopy Pants in Captain Underpants, and I am now Uncle Fester in The Addams Family. So today I'm gonna see some characters that I've never seen before, and I am going to surmise what their voice could be. Um, so this first character I'm seeing looks like a kid's show character, looks like a good time. He's got hair uh, where his elbows should be. He looks like a real sweetie, but kind of a mess. Okay, so I'd say he'd be something like, <clears throat> Hey, what's going on? You guys have fun today? I'm a new, your new friend. I'm supposed to be not here, but here I am. So let's hang out. Okay. I love you. Bye. Um, usually I go with my first instinct on these characters, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this fell sounds like. Okay, you've got a... I think a lady. You got an older lady here. She's got her cup of coffee and a cigarette and some great fizzy hair. She's got an angry, frustrated expression on her face. Uh, um, sweetheart, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me till I've burnt my hand with my own cigarette. Let me, and then I maybe, maybe she's got a little bit of a, a tremor. So it's, let me have my coffee and my cigarette and then I'm gonna go squeeze out a little dirty. Let me have my coffee and my cigarette, and then my ungrateful daughter is going to come by. And we're going to watch The Price is Right all morning. My husband died in bed with another man. And I'm left here cleaning up his debt. Uh, let me, uh, but she's got, but I, I might, see now in this case, I'm forgetting about that cigarette. She's a lifetime smoker, so it's probably... She's got, you know, she she might she might be a little more. There might be a little more rasp to it. You uh, something like this. My husband cheated on his taxes for forty years and then dropped dead in bed with another man, and now I'm left with this one mug and this one cigarette, and that's all I've got. I'm an angry little elf. I grew a goatee, and now here I am. Um, uh, I haven't slept in 13 years. I've been making toys for Santa for 13 years. I haven't slept a day. Santa feeds me cocaine all day long. Keeps me awake, keeps us all awake. I grew a goatee and then I shaved off the mustache and I, that was a mistake. And now here I am. Here I am addicted to cocaine, making presents for minimum wage. Santa eating his way through the North Pole. And do I have a gold tooth? Unclear from this angle. Does he have a good gold tooth? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that informs the character. Hey. 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 <laughs> so if it was, let's see if it was. Yeah, I got a gold tooth. I want to send his top bells. Santa, anyone has a problem with Santa, they come through me, all right? You f talk to Santa, you f talk to me. Huh? Okay? Okay? When Santa found me, I was sitting down by the docks. And now I'm top elf. So yeah, I own a lot. Yeah, it might be hard for me to make presents with my tiny hands. I might just be fingers. So I wasn't good at the fi I wasn't good at making toys, all right? I wasn't good at making the toys. I don't sleep much. I worry. I worry about the boss. You know? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Psst. I want to see my d <laughs> Hey, psst. Over here. <laughs> um, that, was for, that would be for a more adult cartoon. Uh, the character is a man in a trench coat with a hat. Uh, you can't see his face. He's got shifty eyes. Um, I, I, I mean, he really does seem. Or is it? Or is it deep throat? There's that version of it. He could be deep throat. Oh, he could be. Hello, I've got secrets. I've got a secret. Or he, yeah, from MI6 or something. He could be more of an English. Hello, I cannot reveal my identity. I can only tell you that I know who killed Princess Diana, and it was none other than the Queen. 
No, let's see. I, he doesn't. He doesn't feel English to me. Kalu. Yes. I, I have a secret to tell you. I will tell you this secret. I am the one who poisoned all of the spies in Russia. I need one. Psst, come with me. I will take you to. I don't know. Let's see. I have all the secrets for you. You must come. You must come to Barcelona. Once we are in Barcelona, I can tell you all, this, all of the secrets. But for now, I will enjoy this Big Mac at McDonald's with you. I mean, I just think he's a flasher. That's all I can really, I keep coming back to that. I mean, sometimes it's fun to go, sometimes it's fun to go against type, you know? Hey, hi. I'm just, I'm excited to be here. Hold on, no, that's, that's a, that's if Jack McBrayer was a flasher. Well, that's so exciting. Hello. Would you like to see my body? I'll open up my trench coat for you. Would that be something you would like to see? <laughs> it just had a baby. Uh, it's a skeleton mom holding a baby. Who knows what that baby is, though? If it's a skeleton mom, maybe it's just a beautiful baby. This feels, uh, she feels, there's something sort of like Scandinavian Gothic about this. So, hello. I just had a baby. Do you want to meet my skeleton baby? I got so hungry during my pregnancy that I ate my own skin. Would you like to see my skin, baby? I would like to show you my skin, baby. Do you like my lavender dress? For I am the skeleton. I am. Hold on. Mm. Welcome. Welcome to my baby. <laughs> Welcome to my baby. I am the skeleton Scandinavian. I am so honored that you would want to meet my baby. It is all organs from them. They are all organs from my victims. Would you like to meet my organ victim baby? Or something like that. Uh... There's like a Pixar-ish quality to this gentleman. Um, he's a plumber. I can tell by the plunger in his hand. He's a middle-aged fellow. He's lost his hair. He seems like a sweetheart, if not a bit misunderstood. Uh, what, what, he, what does he sound like? Well, I'm, I'm uh, here to fix your, fix your plumbing. I'm sorry if uh, I'm a little late, but my hat trunk in the laundry, and so I was trying to fit it on my head, and now I found myself here. I understand that um, someone flushed a puppy down the toilet. Uh, I'm here to see if I can plunge that puppy out and hopefully give it CPR. I am a trained registered nurse. This um something I do on my free time. Okay, we've got a we've got a cat. Based on the hearts around the cat, I think that cat is in love. Uh, what does this cat sound like? Um, oh, um, uh, I mean, cats always kind of, I always think cats sound like this. I always think cats sound kind of like, oh, I'm so in love. I'm at this ball of yarn and I am in love, simply in love with this ball of yarn. Oh, and there's a decapitated rat carcass. I'm simply in love with it. I brought it into my owner, and I presented it to them, and then my owner didn't like it. So I hid that rat carcass under the radiator for six to seven weeks. A more joyous version of, oh, uh, no, uh, oh, I'm so in love. No, that's, I mean, that's, that's a famous character. Isn't that? Who is that? That's a that's a character. That, that's an existing. That's a piece of. That this guy. No, that's a, that's somebody's character. Oh, we. Oh, I'm in love. I'm a fat little cat, and I'm in love. Um, 
Let's see what else he goes. I've got... I've got a little platypus tail and I'm in love! I guess I go with the first instant because I will get an immediate hit. I always think of cats as very sort of calm and sleek. And so while I see this cat in love, I think it's a cat. Cats are always very sort of sort of like that. They're always very almost uh, Jeff, Jeff Goldblum esque. Uh, there's something about very feline about uh, 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 Jeff Goldblum. So I hope that gives you some insights or just nightmares about how I come up with uh, the voices that I do. Thanks for watching.